Hello everyone, what is up? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're going to be talking about what is happening with XRP in the XRP community. Now in coin market cap, XRP is at around 57 cents. We are in the red today. But if we go to the next tweet from JC Hodler, XRP bull run roadmap. The 2017 bull run consisted out of four pumps. One warm-up pump, three major pumps. We have completed the warm-up pump on the 24th November 2020 and have been consolidating into a bullish pennant formation for the last four weeks. First major pump imminent. Guys, what do we see here? This is huge. Look at the warm-up pump. But we are almost very, very, very close to this first major pump. Look at the percentages, guys. It's going to be huge. But now, guys, before we jump into the next seminar, financial advisor, nurse, financial advisor, such as value only, easy extra PS sweet out. Remember, remember from Brad's mouth. Well, so the, the, when XRP was created, this actually was created before Ripple existed. The creators of XRP decided there'd be 100 billion units because they saw it as a, you know, rather than having a smaller number with a very high price, they saw it as something they wanted to be a effectively a global reserve currency a global reserve currency guys there we go next it comes from digital asset investor like how do you intend to distribute the rest of the xrp then yeah no that's that's a good question my here and i i don't necessarily know that we'll ever distribute all of it in my mind's eye there's a possibility where you know we end up more of a lending Kind of, uh, you know, a more of a lending lender of last resort capacity, maybe. Uh, I think that would be a little strange for a software company, and maybe some things would have to to change structurally. Maybe we have to have a different organization or something. Who knows, right? Um, but as these capital markets develop, as liquidity develops, there are going to be folks who, you know, if they want to provide liquidity in the asset, don't want to necessarily own the asset because that puts them in harm's way for uh, price movements. So if you can borrow the asset and create liquidity that way. It's actually a much more efficient way to be part of the uh, of the liquidity mechanism. It's how traditional capital markets work. So there we go, guys. Dance in the universe. Replace Swift. All means things. Believe it. Zero doubt. Next, it comes from Kinglin. Based on their uh, determination to uh, effect payments in a digital way in a cheaper way, in a faster way, in a more secure way. And I think that on all these accounts, uh, the, a digital currency that falls under the ambit of a central bank is actually addressing all three issues that are on, on uh, consumers' mind and on uh, European minds. Uh, it, it's, you know, it, it's not a 100% uh, rosy story because it clearly, number one, it's difficult and um, it's, it's a time-consuming project, project. It's not going to happen overnight if and when it is decided. Number two, if it has great benefits of being cheaper, faster, more secure, and responding to consumers' preferences, it also has its, its downside. And clearly, we need to uh, address, consider, uh, all the consequences that it would have, depending on the way it is tailored, depending on the way it associates our current, um, you know, usual intermediaries, so that we don't disrupt uh, the system. But I think that it is here to to stay with us. Uh, it's not implemented yet. Decision has not been made yet. We are still in the review and consideration stage, but we've just launched a, a public consultation so that consumers and Europeans can actually express their preference and tell us whether they would be happy to use a, a digital euro just in the way they use a euro coin or a euro banknote, knowing that it is a central bank money that is uh, available and, and that they can rely upon. You, you mentioned uh, a consultation uh, with, with the general public, and uh, you always have been a great believer in communication, including with the, with the general public. And uh, uh, you recently mentioned that uh, with regard to the independence of the central bank, there is still accountability and there is a need to explain. Uh, 
So look at that guys. Look how much adoption and innovation is taking place in front of our eyes and this happened a little bit ago as well. But now guys we're to the fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Now this is quite interesting. PRX is tweeted out. So we can see Mr. Pool has tweeted out a lot of stuff yesterday guys so be prepared. See all of that. If we go to the next tweet from Dear Don, Mr. Pool Drop. So what do you guys think about this video right here from Mr. Pool? If we go to the next tweet from Dear Don once again, Mr. Pool Drop. So guys, he has been dropping a lot of things. Next it comes from Gordon Gecko. Mr. Pool, this is not a test. Vote check a sweet out, Mr. Pool drop. If we go down here, there's a lot more. And then there's this as well. What do we think about this situation right here? If we go to the next year from Fifi, ready? Three, two, one. Hmm, guys, 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 what do we think? We see two terms. And remember, Donald Trump with XRP. Truth seeker sweet out. It's as we all suspected. Trump and XRP are connected. Again, Trump and XRP, what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Again from Dear Don, Mr. Pool Drop 2. Dear Don again, Mr. Pool Drop 1. Leave your thoughts down below on what do you guys think this means. If we go to PRX Suite, Legend of Marvin Gaye. Again, Mr. Pool Drop. Dear Don again. Begin from Mr. Pool. So guys, yes, he just dropped so many tweets. I don't even know if this is all of them as well. I get from Dear Don, Mr. Pool Drop. Mr. Pool Drop once again, guys. More Mr. Pool Drops from Dear Don. Look at the smiley faces. So guys, again, now leave your thoughts down below on what do you guys think this all means and what is it all connected to? Fame 21 more, sweet owl. Ripple Riddler, I'm on to you. Michael Saylor, what do we think about this, guys? Look at this. If we go here. Interesting. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> imagine. XPMM has sweet out Jupiter and Saturn come together in a once in a lifetime show in the December sky. They appear together above the western horizon around an hour after sunset on December 21st. 589, 5 plus 8 plus 9 equal 22. Maybe price set $589 on 22nd of December? Interesting theory. Reborn a sweet out in case it isn't obvious, London. The financial capital of the world is going to be in need of an extreme recovery program as a result of the effects of tier 4 all leading to but one outcome. Blue Shia Suite out XRP community. Now we can see this right here. What do we think, guys? Next two comes from Val Jester. Legitimately, everything is ready to go, guys. Now we wait for a big excuse for something huge to happen to the market. Tomorrow might be interesting and today isn't done. Just FYI, stay supplied up. Tomorrow, 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 what will take place? Rom the Greatest Sweet Owl can't wait till tomorrow, though, for both stock market and crypto market. One week given time for these one week given time for the recent dream the day before yesterday. I'll find out tomorrow the first dream manifesto. Good luck. Again, guys, tomorrow will be a huge day by the looks of it. Be prepared. 
Next, it comes from XP Crypto Fit. Brian Brooks wrecks in six to eight weeks. Bitcoin smashes all time high. Coinbase announces IPO. Brian Armstrong gives warning. Remember, guys, everything is pre planned. The final tip for today's video comes from Baba Cooks. We can see this right here. It looks like a clock, but. Again, guys, TikTok, what will take place at the end of the day, but who really knows? But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe, guys, and ready, feel free to be a member of the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And anyway, guys, see ya.